What's up you guys? Gaming Addict here, coming at you with a review. It's review time! And the review is Dying Light. Okay, I don't know if you guys have seen my past couple reviews, but I review on three different subjects, and then I do an overall review that's not average from the three subjects. But let's get on this, okay? Dying Light is a four-player co-op that you can play co-op, you don't have to, that is a zombie apocalypse and it is awesome this is by far you guys the best zombie game i've ever played but anyway and i'm talking about dying i'm talking about dead island i'm talking about dead rising i'm <laughs> two deads and one thing i'm talking about uh left for dead I'm talking about all these games this is by far the best one all right let's get into this review all right the first thing i do the review on is graphics this game looks phenomenal. I can't begin to describe to you how good this game looks. I was stunned by how good this game looks. This is a zombie game we're talking about, people. I didn't expect this game to look this good. The textures pop out. The water looks good when it's going across the, the light surfaces. I mean, this everything's good, especially when you're in, in the dark and you turn that light on. I mean, they got everything to this game good. So therefore, I'm gonna give the graphic aspect of Dying Light an 8 out of 10. And that's good. That's really good for me to give anyone anything 8 out of 10. But, okay. Next one is gameplay. When I first started this game, I loved it. I loved the, the parkouring system. I loved the new combat system. I loved the way I could legitly cut any zombie in half. Cut them straight down in half. I mean, it's awesome. Originally, it was going to get a 7 out of 10, but then I got the grappling hook, and let me tell you right now, you guys, when you get the grappling hook, the gameplay on this game gets way better. I don't know if I use the grappling hook in this gameplay I'm showing you guys right now. This is the night, uh, the hunter, be the zombie mode, someone's invaded my game. As you can see, he got me right there, but... The night on this game is where it really takes key. Gameplay, the night on this game is where you're just like, I don't know what to do. Until you get a decent level, you run like a bitch in the night level. And you do. There's nothing else you can do. There's so much stuff coming after you. And it's not like in the, the daytime where if a zombie sees you, they alert all the zombies around them. They just don't like come to the end of the street when you climb the, the building like I'm doing and so such right now. They will come up there with me. So therefore, with the grappling, the parkour system, the, the combat system I like, and the, extingu the extinguish night play, I'm going to give the gameplay an 8 out of 10 too. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> Next thing I do is the story. The story of this game, at first, I didn't really in particular enjoy, but there's one person in this story that I really do enjoy and it's the main character when you guys play this what the story about this is is I'm not going to tell you any of the abbreviations but you work for a blank corporation to do something you get dropped out at the beginning of the game and that's what's going on the main character they picked I'm pretty sure it's the same character that plays the main character in Saint in the Saint Row 3 and 4 which I is awesome because that I, I like that dude he was playing more of a jo uh, of a childish kitty thing in St. Rose. He wasn't really taking shit seriously. But in this, he takes this entire role seriously, and I do like this voice actor. He's probably one of my all-time favorite voice actors now. So, therefore, I ain't gonna get, I'm going to give the story a rank, and you guys can figure it out when you beat the story, because I don't want to ruin stuff. I'm not going to give any spoilers up, but I'm going to give the story a 7 out of 10. So, and my last point is, is this worth the $60 that you put into this game? Absolutely. This game, like I said at the beginning of the video, is the best zombie game I've ever played. Hands down. That this game deserves your money. But let's go over the reviews real quick before I get off. Okay, graphics 8 out of 10. Uh, graphics 8 out of 10. Gameplay 8 out, of, 8 out of 10, story 7 out of 10, and my overall is an 8 out of 10. Thank you guys, have a nice day.